uh, Rick Santorum there. You see him in Pennsylvania, the former senator from Pennsylvania, the former Republican presidential candidate has just announced once again he's going to run for that Republican nomination. I want to listen in. We can create jobs, but as we've all seen, America can't succeed unless we strengthen the first economy, the American family. It's time we have a president who sees the struggle of working families in America not as an opportunity to divide us along race or class, but as a chance to unite us around the ideal that every child in America deserves her birthright to be raised by her parents in a healthy home. <laughs> Stronger families and more jobs will result in better schools. But our children, well, they deserve an education customized, customized to maximize their potential. The first step in that process is joining me to drive a stake in the heart of Common Core. I can't forget about the other people that I grew up with out at the VA and Butler, our wounded warriors. I saw the price of freedom. I saw the cost of failed political leadership. The Obama-Clinton team, they don't understand that peace comes through strength. But what I see are heroic veterans dying, waiting in line at the VA because these very same leaders don't care enough to give them what they've earned, the best medical care in the world. I say, join me, take back America, and help these veterans. As you've seen, Commander-in-Chief is not an entry-level position. <laughs> and the White House is the last place for on-the-job training. It's critical that both our allies and our friends know what to expect from our next president. Yeah. Last month, I was featured in an online magazine. That's usually a good thing. But in this case, the online magazine was the magazine of the Islamic State, ISIS. Under the headline, under the headline, in the words of our enemy, was my picture and a quote. After 12 years of legislating and warning about the gathering storm of radical Islam, they know who I am and I know who they are. In that article, I described who they are and how to defeat them. And ladies and gentlemen, if I'm the next president, we will defeat them. Yeah. 